This was a simple car shape I threw together just playing around in Inkscape so we cut, cut this out on the CNC machine. We've got our centerpiece as well as our left and right sides and this will just be sandwiched together. This will be a pocket, these scoops right here, and these will be pockets as well. These are simple tabs so when we cut this out it doesn't flop out of the, the, the wood on the CNC machine. These are our parameters for the CNC. This is a very small 3040 CNC machine. So these dimensions are about 14 by about 9. And we're going to cut this out of some pine shelving material and glue it up. For the tool paths for our little sports car here, we're using JS Cut. Great free program and it's real simple we opened up the design our SVG in JS cut we're gonna set our parameters here since we're using pine it's pretty soft we can raise this to about 60 I want the pass depth to be somewhat shallow so we'll do a point zero six two five and the first thing we want to do is do our outside so we'll click on these go up to create operation we're going to do an outside cut and the pine that we're using is three quarters of an inch but I like to go past that make sure we cut totally through 0 0.78, 0 0.79 make sure we completely go through it go to generate and then a line is created so this is our cut line then for the red we want to make pockets for these so these are our scoops and then these are our kind of windshield effect pockets. So we go back up to create operation. This will be a pocket. We're going to leave this shallow. This doesn't need to be real deep. And we'll go to generate. And then these have created our pockets for these. And then lastly we need to do our tabs. So it holds tight to the wood. So we click on these. And then we go to create tabs here. We're going to do these about 0.5. Oops, one more guy here. 0.5, and then go to create. And then once those go red, then we've got our tabs. We can simulate this and see what this looks like. So these are our cuts. Turn on the back. You can see our kind of shallow cuts into the wood here for the scoop and the windshield. You can also see the tabs so this will stay onto our piece and there's our cut you can see the tabs kind of peeking through also so we've got our left and our right side as well as our center piece the next thing is just to save the code give it a name put it in a local file and open it up in mock Start to see the outline of the car. Just finished our cut, so let's vacuum that out and take a look. There's our original design and our cutout. Next thing is to cut these little tabs off. Sometimes I use a scroll saw or a hand saw to cut those loose. See the tabs on the back. So we'll cut these out and then get the wheels going. These are our three pieces. Still need to do a lot of sanding and cleanup, but this shows the rough placement. Sand off these little tab tab nubs. And we're getting there. For glue ups, I have a modified bearing press here. There was somebody that was throwing this thing away, so I tossed some of the metal pieces that were all bent and shifted this around so I could use this for a lot of compression force. So we've just got a bottom piece here, sits on there like that. We'll put some glue on here. 
lay a board on top and get some real pressure down on this guy. We've got this glued up. A whole lot of pressure put down from that old bearing press. And some wax paper on the bottom so we don't glue to the board under it. Got our wheels. This is the way we've done the wheels. Really simple. So these were just CNC'd out. Then for the sanding off of those little tabs, I put a screw through with a bolt, ran it over to the drill press, just loaded it up, and then spun that and sanded that off nice and smooth. And for the axles, these are just little bolts with a little washer on the end. And that'll screw into the centerpiece as it goes through those wheel wells. There's the finished car. Fun, easy project to do with a small CNC and Inkscape. I left the washers on the back to make the back wheels stick out a little bit more. Took them off the front to make it a little bit low, lower. And there we go. Rolls really smoothly too. Thanks very much for taking a look.